or on Twitter or something, and I'll check. Wah, 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 wah. It's kind of catchy in its own weird way. Uh, tongue depressor. I forgot that. Mmm. That's a tongue. Slightly red, as tongues often are. I think that was everything. I don't know what else to do to her. I forgot to do blood gas. Did I? I just did regular blood. Oh, yeah, right. I like how the blood gas one sounds like it's releasing a whole lot of pressure every time you poke it in. Ugh. pH 7.37. Low oxygen. Adequate ventilation. Figure out why her back is neon red. Hmm. I don't think a CT scan would get me anywhere. Finish her! Alright. I think I will. She's stable now, right? No. <laughs> yeah, she's mostly stable. Use the bone saw. I gave her all the meds. Maybe I should give her the pokey meds. Let's see, I have a score of 162. If I give her the pokey meds, what happens? You can't bone saw it. 159, so I lost points, so pokey meds were not were not the option. Alright, I'm just gonna leave before I break anything else. It didn't seem like a bad idea. I give her every other kind of medication. Uh disposition. Hmm. I don't think any of these. Um No, pulmonology. Last time it seems like I was checking too many boxes, so let's not do that this time. Transport? I don't know. I guess a wheelchair. Is she pregnant? I don't know. I don't think the PDA helps. I did the PDA the first time and it didn't work. Uh... Oh, I forgot to hit the, um... I think respiratory. Right? Nothing else makes a whole lot of sense. Is it common cold? Uh, don't think so. Pneumonia. Um... Discharge. Prescriptions. Antibiotic. Hmm, I think that's about it. Aftercare for pneumonia. I just want to get through this as fast as possible because I don't want to have to wait every time for this to go. Why did I make my name so long? Oh, my chair. It's so squeaky. <laughs> Let me just time and see how long it takes to get through this entire list. Yes, because Tim was way too short. Having a long name is damn useful, especially if you have to use the bathroom. <laughs> oh, I didn't know it would have to count the entire thing. I thought I could just skip this. It was funny the first time. Not sure about every subsequent attempt. Yes, there's a Frankers in there. Right there. Would have made an actual Frankers face. I could have tried to make something. What's my score? I don't know. Pneumonia. Are you dead? Two weeks bed rested. What about my work? You could teach me. I barely have enough money to buy shampoo. No, it shows. Listen to me feeling sorry for myself. I'll get by. That'll be 20,000 bucks. 
You may think I'm not grateful, but I am. <laughs> yeah, right. You did a wonderful job, Doctor. Oh, thanks, Mom. I would have put that on the fridge. Oh, no. Oh, this guy. The guy that everyone knows. Hi. Uh, you must be new. I'm Monty, I guess. Okay. He's got back pain. Um, That's it. It's my back, Doctor. It's the worst pain I've ever had. He's going into cardiac arrest. Yeah, I've just been elevated to senior fry cook, and what with my new responsibilities and the accompanying stress, I've been a little preoccupied, so... I wasn't looking when an obese garden gnome of a man in a brown hat took an umbrella and prodded me in the back with it. You might want to sink your anger up to your mouth. You might be more effective that way. No, I am certain that I'm going to need some countless x-rays. And an Check ultrasound. his anus. Maybe even surgery. What, what is this link? Um. We need 50 cc's of eyebrow <laughs> wax. Before you start, you mind sending in the nurse with a food tray? You wouldn't believe the pressures of being a fry cook in today's marketplace. You're getting what no... What are you doing? He's dying on the table. <laughs> You're getting no hospital applesauce from me. Now we're talking. Wire me up, Doc. Mm. He's fine. I can't defib him. Oh, whoever posted that link in broke the chat. There we go. This is my favorite hospital. Everyone is so friendly here. That's what you think. Give him the glove. Because he's got back pain, so I guess we have to glove the back. It kind of hurts. <laughs> All over. <laughs> sure it does, champ. People don't respect the skill it takes to get the fries hot and crispy. Hmm. You're right. How true you are. How very... Very true. Although you think, you know, do you think you might be on drugs? I think so. Let's find out. You sure you don't need samples? Cultures, DNA? Uh, I have a room at the Y because well, it's so convenient to the Mickey D's where I work. Oh. I'm adding you to my top ten list. <laughs> Can you sign my bottle of pee? Apparently you're somebody famous. Alright, his back is bad. X-ray the back. Can I keep the films when you're done? <laughs> yeah. I might have had a nightcap before bed. It would help me sleep. I'm gonna ask for you next time. Oh. Okay. I'm on his top ten list forever. I... I don't know. I don't even know what else to do. Oh wait, his Remember back. that guy. His back hurts, back right? With his umbrella. I guess you just give him meds. There. Eat this. You're really talented. You know that? No, oh, thanks. <laughs> we have to amputate. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what topical medication is. It changes every single time. I already x-rayed him. The cream on his back? Maybe? Let me give you a massage. Nope, apparently not. Neck brace, eh, if his back hurts, I don't think so. Nah, I'm calling it. Whoops. Back pain and quote unquote, quote, quote unquote, stress. Heh <laughs> heh. Ugh. Hospital orders. Get the hell out of my hospital. Um. No, it doesn't need those. No, not an emergency. Mm, holding orders? No. Consultation? No. Transport? 
I think I gave him wheelchair last time when I got yelled at. Diagnosis, back pain. Uh, do, do discharge orders. Analgesic for the swelling. Uh, what is a special service? Like, what what is home health care? Does that mean somebody knocks on his door and makes sure he's not dead? Dispatch him to a psychiatrist. Um. Okay. Sure. Why not? It is my professional medical opinion. You need to see a psychiatrist. There you go. Call the police for every diagnosis. <laughs> can you check all the boxes at once? You can check them all, but you can't check them all at once. And it would be a long, long time to go through every single one. Kind of a waste to give him home health care. I don't know. I just want him to have somebody to annoy, you know? Elderly people equal home health care. Well, he's like 23. It's older than I am. I should play around at the Oregon Trail during my name. I probably could tell. Uh, could find the time for that, given how long this takes. He has annoying itis. Is that in the PDA? Just call the police and have them arrest you before you can see the patient. Oh, it's almost done. Or is it? I don't know what my score is. Did I win? Are you sure? Yep, we're, you find anything wrong? we're going to take you away. Ha ha, he he, ha ha, to the funny farm, <laughs> etc. I love the applesauce in these little cups. Mm. Oh, the police Touching will be here any fun. minute. Touching the filet. Um, well, thank you for taking such good care of me. I'll put in a good word for you with my friends at Triage. Okay, man, put the applesauce down, okay? <laughs> well, here's somebody who's actually sick. John Jackson, Jones, about his motorcycle on 10 freeway where he hit some slick road, rode him multiple times. He's complaining of sharp chest pains. Like him, he had his helmet on. Hey, dude, I'm here. Dude, 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 dude. So I know two in the field. I tell you, if they ever took these machines off the road, the spare man's to be out of a job. Yeah, man, motorcycles are for dumb pig, people. Dog. Bikes aren't as dangerous, <laughs> dangerous as they say. LA driving. I love this mini rock scary. loop. Scary. They're scary. <laughs> Oops. Pulse ox is low. Let's get this man some oxygen. Urgh. Breathe it. Use the use the stethoscope. It's damn useful. Okay. I will. Lung sounds absent on the right side. Oh yeah, I have to poke him this time. <laughs> I remember that. Uh, something wrong with his chest, right? Yeah. Yeah, just a bit. He's got charred pepperoni for nipples. Possibility of fracture. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Hmm. Well, let me IV him. Yeah, his arm looks okay. Why is this guy covered up when nobody else was? I don't know, actually. Um. How's his other arm? Why do they have to cover him up? It'd be so much more convenient. Oh, God. Oh, he's naked. Is he? I didn't even notice, huh? Hmm. Can I use the pen light for anything? 
Where does Damien come around? I don't think he comes around ever. Oh, we're gonna have to shave that mustache off, sir. No obstruction. Well, that's good. Oh, I forgot the cervical collar. Oops. Here you go. Looking sharp, my man. His liquid snake's arm. Oh god. I wish. Can you imagine if this just transitions into Metal Gear Solid later on? That would be fantastic. Also, you're right. X-ray. Broke some ribs. Also his arm. Which looks okay. Oddly enough. Uh, give me IV. Give me oxygen mask. Does he need meds? Oh, I forgot to give him the med IV. Bloop. I don't think the P test is gonna help. Oh, apparently that was not the right thing. I know you have to give him medicine at one point. Uh, yes, you have to use the chest tube for this. Oh, it was morphine I had to give him. But not drip morphine, I had to give him... Inject... Or injection morphine for whatever reason. Chest tube. I'm on this. Hmm. I would be on it if I knew where it were. Where it was. There it is. Oh man. Oh, I'm supposed to disinfect it, aren't I? Because I got points docked last time. Oh well, too late. Here's some gel. Here's scalpel. <laughs> I just suck all the blood out of him. <laughs> just stick stuff into him until it works. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that there. I don't know what it's doing. Do the scratches on his head need to be sponged? I'm gonna sponge them all over. Hmm. Let me sponge your chest. Get this hair off. Can I erase the nipples? No. Oh. <laughs> Apparently I was supposed to do that before the chest tube. Let me clean your face up. There you go. Apparently that was a wasteful, useless procedure. I was cleaning that healthy skin. Oh, you know what I have to do? I have to patch up the hole that I made where the chest tube is. I didn't do that last time. <laughs> I mean, I think I have to take the tube out first. <laughs> Can't wait. Oh, you have to suture the tube in. <laughs> okay. Um, sure, whatever you say. Check his legs. Uh, he's got pink toenails, but aside from that, he's fine. <laughs> well, I think that's all due for him. Surgical floor. Yeah, it's Cosmo Toes. Um, let's see, hold him in surgery, transport him, I, I don't know what the difference between monitoring with an RN and monitoring with an MD is, and I'll say RN because I said MD last time and got points docked. Oh, I forgot the brace is right. Wait, his right arm wasn't broken. That's right. Night then, CL3W. Thank you for watching. Um. Oh, there's a thing I had to check. Wasn't there? Because his lung sort of deflated. Well, I know RN's a nurse. I don't know the difference between transporting with a nurse. There we go. Try to remember everything this time. Hmm. 
got to diagnose him. Let's see. I don't remember which lung it was. Swollen joints? No. Puncture wound? No. Motor vehicle? Uh, no. That one? Right... Oh! Contusion! Right arm contusion, not right arm confusion. That would explain why I was so confused. And contused. <laughs> I couldn't read that! Also, left lung is not a choice. So it's gotta be that one. Alright. Discharge. Uh, analgesic? I guess? I don't... I don't feel like I should be discharging him at the moment. He's dazed and contused. Hmm. Um. Uh. Oh, wait! Oops. I think I had to do another thing over there. <laughs> police and child services. I'm gonna order this man a police escort so he doesn't crash his bike anymore. I'll just give him a ticket. I know you almost died and everything, but we're gonna have to issue you a ticket for speeding. Here's your court summons. Have a nice day. <laughs> so, how about that name? I'm gawking on Twitter at the moment. I don't know what else to do. I just start killing patients left and right because it turns out I can't read the sheet. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I got a score. God knows what it is. There. That's the loser. <laughs> The, the, the doctor is not the problem. You're the problem. Apparently, John. it wasn't very I'm good. You, this doc's incompetent. He could have killed me. No, your idiot cycle almost did that. <laughs> I hope you finally learned your lesson. I thought he did okay. Death machine and, and put the money away. Is it because I looked at your pink toes? Just the two of us. Provence. Where's that? We'll talk about this later. I'll cure this man, or my name isn't Tim for Rizzle this time, this PhD, DMD, DO, MLG, XD, Dr. Akil, LOL, Snoop Line, 420, P.O. Box. It all comes down to the choices and the outcomes. I have Ms. Riley's chart. Let's go over her food. I threw it in the garbage. I'm glad to see you checked rhythm. In a case like this, it's crucial. I found this patient's BP particularly telling. You did too. Why didn't Good you work. treat her then? What you should learn from this is how effective the 12 lead can be in determining heart ailments. With redness in the throat, it was important to run a swab. She looks pulse dead already. To Check her pulse. Infection. Good work. The blood gas numbers confirmed to this patient's breathing problem. He is Signs gay, of that's wheezing, labored breathing, or rapid breaths need he attention. He pulse. helped the patient by administering oxygen via mask. The right decision. Sharp eyes, doctor. This uh, sharp patient's needles. weak state demanded the introduction of intravenous fluids. Good. You injected antibiotics to help the patient's immune system battle the infection. The treatments indicated were not necessary. What was that? Before you discharge a patient, you need to be more careful to communicate the do's oh, and don'ts, she's doctor. Should just Google it. I see a few missing items from your hospital orders list, but otherwise, very good. You kept your head, went down the checklist, and reached the right conclusion. <laughs> I did. Pneumonia. You did what you had to do to save the patient, but just barely. <laughs> what did I not do? I forgot to use the magnifying glass. Doe. She could have died. Monty, Monty, Monty. So you met our frequent flyer, huh? It's a rite of passage for most of us. Clear and thought out, doctor. Your discharge orders included every angle. Except this one. Communication is key, doctor. You can't expect the hospital staff to read your mind. Record the patient's hospital orders for admit. A lot of people come to the <laughs> ER presenting I'll just speed run this, yeah. brilliant work, doctor. The level of care you afforded this patient exceeded my expectations. Which were pretty low. I'm glad to see you checked rhythm. In a case like this, it's crucial. I check I rhythm all the time. I found this patient's BP particularly telling. You, you did, did too. too. 
Good work. Doctor, did this patient present signs of heart trouble? I don't know, but then it why cool. the 12 lead EKG? Yeah, yeah. This patient complained of breathing problems. How could you have overlooked the lungs? Oops. Signs of wheezing, labored breathing, or rapid it was breaths damn useful need attention. You helped the patient by administering oxygen via mask. <laughs> the right decision. Sharp eyes, doctor. Is doctor? This patient's weak state demanded the Sharp eyes, doctor. Doctor patient. Explode. To properly address and treat the patient's pain, I see you opted for the med syringe. Good choice. Oh, thanks. Not an easy treatment to administer, but a necessary one in this case. You scored high marks by choosing the test tube. It protocol. doesn't look like anything. You treat the it wound, looks like a god awful mess. To cleanse the area. Well done. Your discharge orders were incomplete. Oops. Good. You noted so giving all necessary him an hospital for pain orders is not and the right communicated thing? them clearly. A confusing case, to be sure, made more complicated by bad or withheld outside information. I'm glad you stuck to the protocols and made the correct <laughs> diagnosis. I'm still getting sued. Oops. Please tell me about motorcycles. You had a motorcycle injury. Femur. Ouch. You think a bad break like this will stop that patient? It wasn't his femur. His femur was fine. I didn't even check his femur. Donor cycles around here. You'll see a lot of these cases. Not just head injuries. And I thought it was his ribs. Road rash, eye trauma, carpal tunnel. Malpractice every day. Fourteen times more likely to die riding a motorcycle than you are in a car. Idiots. Oh, Matthew. I read this in my Palm Pilot. <laughs> you need to move your motorcycle. You parked in a handicap zone. Last time he said my performance stinks. What's he gonna say this time? Nothing. Oh, I'm so alone now. Your performance doesn't stink. Oh, it's for the DJ. Hi, how you doing? Bobby Silvers. Maybe you know me as Bobby Showtime Silvers, huh? And you're listening to Bobby Showtime hey, Silvers on DJ. What? Well, anyway. You're probably asking station? yourself, no. what's up with a guy like me taking a reverse pipe and talk 15 feet off the stage at a Beck concert, huh? <laughs> I'm hosting the show, dude. I'm introducing the man. I'm himself, actually not middle-aged, right? bro. I'm up there. I'm doing my intro rap, right? And I'm doing it so well, by the way, that the band is behind me shooting dagger eyes into my back because the crowd is digging it so much. And the next thing you know, I'm crashing headfirst into the pit. <laughs> so the band tried to murder you. Huh. Give him an enema. You know, up top, I don't think that'll me. help. Yeah, and this neck pain won't go away. Rock on! You listen to my show? Easily crank on your FM dial bay. Uh, while you're waiting for inspiration, Deep you can really me something for the pain. Deep. That looks fine. That looks fine. That looks fine. That looks fine. Orange pants. Well, he actually escaped from the chain gang. He'll be fine. Uh, cervical collar. I feel like the people who took him into the hospital should have put the collar on, but what do I know? Let's see, it was his leg that hurt, right? Oh. What is this? It just looked like somebody took a paintbrush tool and just dabbed it on him. Uh, alright. Probably broke that. Yep, yeah, go figure. The video and audio is out of sync. I don't know why. It's just sort of how this game goes. Incomplete fracture. Uh, where is the splint? There it is. Boop. Um, I have 119 points. I don't know what else to do. Give him a cone collar, he's not gonna lick the fracture anymore. Mm, is that okay? Let me touch it. Yeah, it looks like he might have a bruise. Maybe it just looks like that. Mm. I can never be sure. <laughs> Wait, what? There's a giant hole in his head. Normal. Say so. Give him something for the pain. Probably not pills, probably a shot of morphine. Bloop. Into the bruise. 
He probably just came to the hospital to get morphine anyway. It went up two points from touching his face. I think that's everything. Because I did that one, and I lost a bunch of points for doing too much. I'm just going to hedge my bets and say 166 is about as much as I'm going to get without doing anything else. Let's see, hospital orders... Uh, transport? No, he's probably fine. He was walking alright. He's walking, I don't need to give him extra stuff. Diagnosis, uh... Hmm... Normally the diagnoses are super, super specific. I don't think breast implants is quite what we're going for. Um, let's see, which of these seems like what he had? Multiple trauma. Nope. Not that. Not a puncture wound, not a motor vehicle accident. Not a motor vehicle accident. Not a motor vehicle accident. Right arm pain. Was it right arm? Or was it left? No, wait, it was leg. Left arm pain? Blunt trauma? Multiple trauma. Let's see. He had a left... No, not a hematoma. Uh... I don't even know where it is. Left something. His left leg got broken and he didn't get electrocuted. Where is that? Left leg fracture. Hmm. <laughs> Why is it right arm pain? How about left leg pain? Under traumas? Blunt trauma? Why do you play Second Life? Because I would get banned from Twitch. Left rib. Lacerations? No. Toothache? No. I can't find it! Back three pages. Gunshot wound? Suicide attempt? Broken... Am I missing that? Like, every time? Blunt trauma. No. Gunshot wound. Oh! Left thigh. Contusion. Oh, wait, no, not contusion. Fractured. Oops. Why does Twitch ban you for playing Second Life? Because people pretty much use it to have virtual sex. And that's not good. Um, let's see. Prescriptions. Analgesic sounds about right. Aftercare for neck strain. For, uh... Uh, crutch? Uh, splint care seems okay. Uh, fracture care general? Sure. Social worker and an inhaler. Oh yes, that's right, this name just keeps going. This is the worst thing I've ever done to this game. <sighs> I could really go for something to drink right now. <laughs> so, how about that video game? Nice name, I'd like to think so. Yeah, she's got her coffee. Get a drink of cocaine. That's how you do it. Oh, it's almost done. How about some bonus soda? God, that was a great game. Soda Drinker Pro. Come on! Am I winning? For once. I don't know what my score is. But he seems okay. Cool. He's got his robot great leg. Good job, Doc. Very artistic. Now, can you get me out of here so I can get home and rest up? I'm broadcasting from a new shopping mall tomorrow. So the long signature give you extra points. 
Um, afraid not. Oh, this is the electric cute guy. Layla on the third rail, pulling his assailant down on whip him. Some sane electrical injuries. LAPD pulled him up. We arrived five minutes later. The patient was pulseless and not breathing when we found him. <coughs> Thanks for the protection. Surprisingly enough, the acting isn't so bad in this game. Oops. He's kind of dead, isn't he? Let me just make sure. Hmm. Oops. <laughs> just gotta make sure you're dead. I pull one of these. Boop. Hey. He's not dead anymore. I've never played an Arma, Anno, or COH game. Use the 12 probe. Beep, beep. Oh, man, the other guy's here, too. Damn it. I have to save the assailant as well, but I can't. I don't want to. Uh. Um, IV sounds about right. Bloop. How long can I leave the other guy before he dies? Probably not very. Let me just poke this guy a bit. What just happened? Uh, this guy got assaulted, pushed onto an electrified rail, got electrocuted, and now he's dead. Uh, let me use the stethoscope, because I know I'm gonna get yelled at if I don't. No respiration. No, we're totally respirating now. I fixed him. <gasps> don't lie to me. Is he conscious? Yo, open. It looks like the cervical collar itself is bruised. Like the bruise is on top of the collar. Pupils equal and reactive to light. Well, that's good. Fix his lung. I'll get there. Um. Oh, I should have checked for airway obstruction before I put the thing in. Oops. Um. Oh well. Let me check the other guy. Reggie Alvarez, he's the perpetrator of the crime whose outcome you've just seen. Reggie and his victim took a spill onto the third rail. Don't judge me, lady. His left leg. BP 100 over 50, pulse 40, respiration shallow. Gee, I just love helping the bad guys. Ugh. No respect for life. If you're gonna do something, do it fast. I can totally hear you, you know. Hmm. <gasps> Uh, dude probably needs oxygen. There, needs oxygen. There you go. Amputate left leg. Cervical collar. There you go. Kill the criminal. I can't kill the criminal. I have to keep him alive. Um, let's see, he's got the giant wound on his leg. Oops, that's a CT scan. Sponge, oh god. Ugh. How is that sponging of normal skin? Does that look normal to you? I don't think so. There. He's going to die if I don't fix his leg. Is he? Yeah, he is. Hmm. Oh, where's the wound compress? Gauze? Compress? Ugh. Bleeding is slowed. Oh, that's good. Um. Do I... I guess... He bandaged it. There you go. There you go. Now he's happy. Bleeding slowed as bones reapproximated. That's a good word. Amputate the head. Uh. I probably should give this man an IV. 
Bloop. There you go. It probably needs IV meds. Bloop. Check the other guy. Why is everyone else sitting around and not helping? I don't know. Because they're jerks. <clears throat> Can I touch your muscles? No deformities, jugular veins, distended, weak cardio... Er, cardio pulse. Contusions of... Pain, palpitation of left leg. Bone tenderness indicates the need to what? Hmm. Need for an x-ray. Okay. I'll do that. Looks okay. Oh, his lung collapsed. Um, let's give that guy... Not aerosolized meds. Uh... Looking for a thing. Where's the endotracheal tube? Where is it? Where's the tube? There it is. Breathe! I don't know where the gel goes. I guess it goes in your lips. There. I'm helping. Now he can breathe. You missed his nipples. That's the guy I'm helping, right? Yeah. Um, there's a thing I wanted to do. If his lung is unhappy... Oops. I want to ultrasound his chest. There we go. Not his belly. No blood in the pericardial sac. Patient requires immediate chest tube insertion. I did that, didn't I? Hmm. Right. Uh, blood gas probably be a decent idea. Uh, yeah, it's helpful in assessing ventilatory function. I don't know what that means. Can I just poke him while we're at it? Just poke him with everything. And now he doesn't have chap lifts. I've saved him. Massive electrical current. Standard preoperative test. Maybe I'll just make him pee in a cup just to be safe. Heme positive, but no red blood cells. Is it lupus? I put the wrong tube in. Are you sure? Oh, you're right. He does need a chest tube. No. Uh oh. No. No. How do I save this man? Windows, no. He's gonna die. Uh oh. Oh. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Wait, how am I sucking blood out of his skin? That's awful. How's this man still on high alert? I gotta suture that back in. No, don't suture the arm! Suture his chest. I really don't see how this helps. There you go. I'm taking this patient away from you before he bleeds out. But I'm very disappointed in you. I fixed we'll it. Talk about this after your shift. I fixed... What? Oops. Oh well. <laughs> I thought I was doing a decent job. Let's see. I don't even know where I left off on this guy. Maybe I should make him pee in a cup too. There. How do I make an unconscious man pee into a cup? Lack of red blood cells in urine indicates absence of kidney damage. Well, that's good to know. Um... He was a criminal scum anyway. I guess so. He's got IV. He's got IV meds. I, did I give him pain meds? Let's see. Temperature, blood pressure monitor, EKG. Come on. 
I don't care about all this. I just want to know what I did. Defib chest. Cervical collar. IV elbow. IV meds. Do, 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 do. Stethoscope. Pen light. Tongue depressor. Urine test. Okay, so I didn't give him a bunch of meds. Uh, no, that's a cautery. Where is my, not the irrigation, medicine syringe? Here's some morphine. Now check his leg. I didn't, actually. What I need to do is get the gunk. Gotta put the butter on his leg. <laughs> that makes such a great noise. Hmm. Um, let's see. Is his left arm that's all... Yeah, his left arm is the one that's all screwed up. That's the one that I poked. So I probably need to do... You know, probably wouldn't be such a bad idea to put more butter on that arm. I don't know where. I guess that looks like a decent place. Burn cream. Bandage up the burn. Okay. What's the irrigation syringe do? My score is 88. What if I irrigate that? Maybe. 93. Irrigation of burn is apparently a thing you need to do. Okay, let's do it again. Bandage up the burn. Um, if I'm going to bandage it, I have to sponge it. Yeah, I can bandage it. So if I have to bandage that, I have to bandage or sponge that. Can you play this on Windows 7? I don't know, but I'm playing it in Windows 98 at the moment. Um, I bandaged it, I irrigated it, I put the meds on. Oh, and I didn't bandage it, I sponged it. Now I have to bandage it. Bandage? Bandage. Da. It totally looks like it was always there. Oh, that was the burn, not that. What was I even doing this? I was just putting gunk on the wrong part. Cold compress? Um... He's unconscious? I don't think that'll help. I have a score of 100. Is that good enough? Hmm. Did I x-ray his head yet? That's pelvis. No evidence of injury. That's not his head, though. That's a head. No fractures or deformities. Let me double check. Yep. That's a melon. Put the cold compress down his pants. Uh, alright. I have 118 points. Um, I'm gonna call it a day. I'm afraid to touch him anymore. College student, number nine, history unknown. The problem is he has no brain. Hmm. Let's see, emergency. He probably needs some of that. Cardiology, because his heart stopped. Uh, general surgery, because his heart stopped. Who is patient 007? I think that was the DJ guy. He died last time. I think the bad guy died last time. This guy didn't die. Um, holding. Let's see. Intensive care. General sounds good. Uh, transport on a gurney? Uh, uh, whatever. Every time I do monitor with the RN, it always seems to be the right answer. Um, diagnosis. Let's see. He was burned. There's an entire category for burns, isn't there? Vomiting, blood. Nope. Gunshot, wrist injuries, blunt trauma. Did I miss it? How could I miss the burn category? There it is. 
Multiple fractures and burns? No. Multiple fractures, internal... Where's the one where his heart stopped? Multiple trauma. Hmm. It's one of these. I think. Oh, electrocution. There it is. Multiple trauma with electrocution. Sounds about right. Discharge. I... Don't think I'll be discharging him anytime soon. Hmm. <laughs> the one where his heart stopped is called death. I've noticed, yeah. Hmm. Is that all? If you just don't want to discharge him, do you just not discharge him? Wrong diagnosis. Are you sure? I think I picked the right one. None of these other ones make sense. They pretty much straight up said he was electrocuted, and then burned, and then his heart stopped. Call in the popo. Hmm. Hmm. Some live, some don't. Oh well. Uh. Oh! Send for intensive care. That's probably a good idea. Well, I mean, if I'm not going to give him... If I'm not going to give him... A discharge, I don't need to give him any discharge orders, so... Plastic surgery. What am I even looking at, Robocon? I think you just copy and pasted every possible thing you can do. Why would I why would I call social services on a guy who got assaulted in the subway? What are the social services going to do? They kind of can't take away my child because I don't have one. So the bad guy died. But did this guy die? Hmm. Let's find out. I have no idea. Yes. I heard they took that robbery victim from you. That you didn't do such a good job on him. That makes us medics look really bad. Oops. Do me a favor. Be more careful next time. Sorry. I think I'm getting a migraine. <laughs> I'll never save that guy. I know we don't want to aggravate a patient's condition, but confirming and locating pain are vital to a proper diagnosis. Which is exactly what Head I did. neck trauma, you don't take chances. X-rays are a must. Way to identify the break and use the splint to immobilize it. Can you please properly anybody properly address here? and treat no. the patient's pain, I see you opted for the med syringe. Damn Good useful. Choice. You recorded what was necessary to Always ensure proper useful. continued care. Try not to be so hasty with your diagnosis next time, doctor. You'll find your success rate will improve. I'm sorry, what? I said left femur fracture, neck strain. The answer was... Diagnosis? Left femur fracture, neck strain? I... So wait, there's a space between this... Wait, no, there's no space. Apparently. Um... <laughs> you mad? Just a little bit? I thought for once I didn't suck. But no. No, I I did. Hmm. Not sure how to feel about that. Let's just throw that on Imgur really quick. Need to save that for posterity as a good reminder for people not to play this game. There we go. 
I did it. And close that. Nope, that's maximized. You did what you had to do to save the patient, but just barely. I didn't glove his chin and neck. <laughs> if I had only gloved him, he would have survived. I've been looking forward to reviewing this case with you. Let's see how well you distanced your emotions from your exam and treatment. Oh, it doesn't matter. I found this patient's BP particularly telling. You did too. Good work. I can't believe the RR on this patient. It looks like Doctor, a wave. We all wear a stethoscope it doesn't really around tell our me neck anything. for a reason. It's damn useful, <laughs> especially in a case like this one. Sorry. With such evident signs of distress, the 12 lead EKG should have been a top priority. <laughs> Just think what might have happened if you failed to run this test. I did. I'm curious how you can ignore a CT scan in this case, Doctor. Because I'm a moron. I'm curious how know. you can ignore an X-ray in this case, Doctor. I'm curious how you can ignore an X-ray in this case, Doctor. You correctly applied the cold compress to address the swelling. <laughs> Way to identify the break and use the splint It's a to giant open it. wound. You want Sharp me to put a cold eyes, pack doctor? on it? This patient's weak state demanded of frozen the vegetables of that fix it? fluids. Good. You injected antibiotics to help the patient's immune system battle the infection. The endotracheal tube protocol was required, and you followed through like a veteran. Did Not I? an easy treatment to administer, but a necessary one in this case. You scored high marks by choosing the test tube protocol. The treatment indicated was not necessary. Sorry. The treatment indicated was not necessary. I was. The treatment indicated well, I was, was not it. necessary. The treatment indicated was not <laughs> necessary. The treatments indicated were not necessary. Oops. Before you treat the wound, it's important to cleanse Sorry. the area. Or have you forgotten that small detail? Your hospital orders list is incomplete. I wanted to put a bandage on the giant gaping, bleeding wound, but no. Nope, it's fine. <laughs> it's not necessary, but damn useful. This case was difficult, to say the least. Given the circumstances, I can see how you went wrong. But that doesn't change the fact that you failed to draw the correct conclusion. Oops. Your ineffective use of the tools and time you had at your disposal nearly cost this patient's life. Oh, he survived. Well, that's okay. Electrical shock case. And a critical one. We'll step through this one up and carefully. Talk about through the roof. You put the EKG to good use in this instance. Actually, the EKG was what on you zero. What you learn from this is how effective the 12 lead can be in determining heart ailments. With head and neck trauma, you don't take chances. X-rays are a must. X-rays are damn useful. Signs of wheezing, useful. labored breathing, or rapid breaths God, need attention. I can't believe how big that guy's you tongue is. patient by administering oxygen via mass. massive. The right decision. You handle the crash car to defib the patient like a pro. Bro. Sharp eyes, Bro. doctor. This patient's Bro, weak eyes. state demanded the introduction God, the, the of intravenous fluids. Down. To properly address and treat the patient's pain, I see you opted for the med syringe. Just a double pro. Choice. To properly address and treat the patient's pain, I see you opted for the med syringe. Good choice. Thanks. You correctly applied topical medication. I, you correctly applied topical medication. Before you treat the wound, it's important it's important to cleanse the area. Well done. It's nice to see you didn't forget the basics. No. You needed to bandage the wound, and you did. I rubbed nice his belly to see and you everything. didn't forget the basics. You needed to bandage the wound, and you did. Uh, I'm... There were no do not resuscitate orders with this patient, doctor. You should have used the defibrillator. I did. Before you treat the wound, Wait, it's I totally did, because he would have died if I didn't. Area, or have that was the first thing I did. Small detail. You thought this patient's continuing care through. The hospital staff should thank you for your thorough plan and highlighted reminders. <laughs> highlighted reminders. What I was actually, or what I was saying was, Most I do cell bio. Through here are routine, and dare if I it comes to stuff I can actually see, I have no idea what to do with it. Occasionally, we see an exotic one. Good. Your ineffective use of the tools and time you had at your disposal nearly cost this patient's life. Oops, I forgot to glove any, or magnifying glass any. If I just touched him at all, he would have been safe. Man, I'm such an idiot. I'm gonna glove the pretzels. No. I'm on a personal slowdown. You did everything wrong, but the paperwork I am so is sick right. Of administration coming down here and telling us how Two to out take of care ten. of patients. Most of them haven't worked the floor in years. Damn it, Tim! I'm a doctor, I'm not a to glover. The other nurses into getting unionized. Oh, forget about it. Do you think do not I'm resuscitate orders are damn useful? Sure, you don't want one. 
that you saw. These pretzels are damn useful at eliminating hunger. Oh, that's right, it's the car crash. Oh, no, it isn't. It's the one that I thought was pregnant but has appendicitis. I remember this. She woke me up screaming. I wasn't screaming. The pain was horrible. You are the one screaming. Will you tell the doctor how you feel? They have plenty of other patients. I feel pregnant, but your appendicitis. The pain started at her belly button, and then it moved much lower. And then she complained of nausea. And then... Oh, my God. What if she's pregnant? Oh, What if I'm pregnant? If I find oh. out you had sex with Anthony Scapello, we haven't even hardly had sex. Hardly? How do you hardly have sex? How can we if you're always showing up? I'm sure you could find a way. Will you deal with her, Doctor? I'm your boyfriend now. My boyfriend now. and I? <laughs> I don't <laughs> wait till we're older before sex. Love her abdomen. All right. 16. That sounds like reasonable Maybe advice. 17. Beep, beep. Pain on palpitation with rebound pain and guarding. I don't know what that means. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to check the machine. I'm burning up. That should have been the indication that her appendix is not going very well. If she were pregnant, I don't think she would have a giant fever. But then again, I've never been pregnant, so I have no idea. Hey. Hey, pee in this cup. You are so cool. Also, that like totally those doctors me on out. that TV show. You're so cool for making me pee in this cup. Good God, I did not expect that. I was legitimately freaked out for a moment. The nurse said it could be gas. Oh, gas, my. Oh. I'm pregnant, and Damien's the father. That's not a baby. I know you're gonna help me through this. It's indicative, or indicative of appendicitis. Maybe the baby's just the big poo. Is that how babies work? Uh, forgot the My IVs. My mom thinks she knows me, but she doesn't. Yeah, parents suck. There's nothing in here that'll get me stoned, right? Dude, what's in the IV, bro? Yeah, it's my meds. Thank you. Hmm. I feel better already. Can you sedate her? You could try. Don't listen to my mom. You're doing a great job. Well, I went to medical school. I'm qualified. Oh, I can't stand my mom. She still treats me like I'm a ten-year-old. Ow. <laughs> hmm. Well, I don't do the surgery. So I think that's all there is to do. I've diagnosed her. As needing... Call child services. Diagnosis angst. Amputate the mom from her. Hmm. Let's see. Operating. There you go. Um. Hmm. Pre-op. Probably. Um, I'll just do that one, because that one always seems to work. Did I use the med syringe? I didn't? Maybe I did. I know I poked her with something. Give her brain surgery. Uh, diagnosing with appendicitis. Appendicitis. Uh, discharge? Nope. Not ready yet. I'm gonna call it a day on that one. Lobotomy. Diagnosis, acute parenting infection, treatment, amputate mother. I killed another one, all she had was gas. <laughs> Oops. My bad. Should have just asked if she had, like, Mexican that day. Could have saved everything. Could have saved so much time. But nope. Did I glove her? I did. That was step number one. 
Was that supposed to say the killer, or was it always meant to say the iller? I'm really not sure. She was eating Mexican food at the dog bite woman's house. I'm gonna see what she says. What was my score? I have no clue. I know, honey. Don't worry. I'm gonna be here. Everything's gonna be okay. All right. I love you. Just a second. Honey, You're pregnant right with there, a big okay? appendix. Thank you, doctor. They're taking Emma up to surgery now. I'm just so happy that she's not pregnant. But I'm pregnant now. Heart, I know it's just a matter of time. You'll see. <laughs> At least the surgery will keep her away from Tony Scarpello for a few days. That's not very Thank nice. You could do me a favor. Would you mind talking to the surgeons and ask them if they could keep her here for a couple of extra weeks? <laughs> Thank you. Bye. So my daughter's going to be pregnant any minute now. Um, just thought you should know. Car crash man. Yuklovich, another strange driver in a head-on car versus concrete wall. That's killing me. Doctor is going to fix you right up. Where's Lisa? Is she okay? Hang in there. Lisa, the neck, no. Pain, the pain to the left side of the chest and the right arm. To see him lap to his left forehead. He doesn't remember any event, but denies him his consciousness. It's in pretty good shape, considering. The vehicle has severe PSI. Will someone tell me how Lisa's doing? The Lisa he's referring to. Stay away. I could hear you. Not smart. I know. I wasn't wearing my seat belt. Lisa. <gasps> that means the temperature is okay. Man, that seems fine to me. Can I glove you? Hmm. Lisa? Lisa? Oh god. Where is she? Someone blurred your stomach, man. A nasty blurring accident. Ow! Oh. Careful with the arm. Okay. Looked pretty grim for they a while. They really went overboard with the blur tool on this. Like, really overboard. Let's see. Well, if she's he... okay, isn't she? No, she's dead. Um, Why won't anyone answer me? Because I legally can't. Uh, gotta clean your face. Oh, that's right. I clicked. God damn! I clicked left eye when I meant to click head. There. All right. Um. I guess I have to see if there's anything wrong with his head. How do your eyes react? Alright. His brain is okay, everyone. X-ray the arm. Let me just stethoscope him because it's damn useful. That doesn't sound very good. Oh. It's normal. What do I know? I wiped off some Lisa from his face. That's terrible. Oh god. Um. He broke a bunch of ribs. Have I gloved him? It was the first thing I did. Head x ray, please. No, go head. Head. Why is it so hard to line up? Kill him so he could be with Lisa. There. No fractures. Lucky you. Um, eh, just be safe with a CT scan. Mm. Bowl of jello. Oh, wait, those are your brains. Typical tin glove at first sight. That glove is damn useful, I'll have you know. Hmm. How's his breathing? <gasps> no, it's fine, he doesn't need oxygen. But he does need to be poked. Because I want an excuse to poke whenever I can. X-rays are- oh yeah, you're right, I'll do that after this. Which, oh, it was the really crappy looking one, the far one. Ouch. Hmm. 
arms busted. Let's splint it. Mm, there you go. Perfect. Right where the fracture isn't. A very blurry splint. Mm. Patient state's arm feels better. I, I don't know why, but okay. Can I give you a haircut? Snip, snip. I wish. <laughs> suture. Oh, okay. Suture protocol. Good plan. I'm gonna fix your head right up, mister. Haircut is not necessary. Sorry. <laughs> that haircut was damn useful, though. That's how he's gonna find a new date. Okay, fix that. Bandage your brain. And topical med your brain. And you'll be fine. There. I think that's about it. I mean, uh, what about his chest? I think his chest was okay. I think I gloved it and it turned out to be fine. Oh, that's right. I already x rayed his chest. I think I x rayed the. No, I can x ray the pelvis, why not? Looks like a pelvis. X ray's normal. That was a waste of x ray. Uh, I think his legs are fine. Yeah, I'm gonna call it on this, because I'm losing points. I had 166, I'm going down. I fixed his arm, that one's okay. I think the more I just touch him, the worse it goes. So I'm just not going to touch him anymore. Let's see. Disposition. I have no idea. None of these, really. He doesn't need surgery, not really. I know his ribs are broken, but he can't set them. Hmm. Emergency, urgent consultation. Psychiatry, maybe, but I don't think that would help. I don't think they want you to weigh in on stuff like that. Like, I think this man is depressed. Why'd I leave his chest broken? Because if I can't put a splint on it, I can't do anything. Uh, transport, I don't know, I guess... Monitor of his RN? I guess? Diagnosis. Uh, let's see, where are the fractures? Multiple trauma with burns, puncture wound, vomiting blood, motor vehicle accident, motor vehicle accident, seizure, multiple blunt trauma. Uh, not quite. He's got busted ribs. Left arm pain. I fixed that. Oh no, wait, it was his right arm. Hmm. <laughs> Diagnosis, he was in an accident. Would it be under motor vehicle accident? Yeah, motor vehicle accident. Yes, it would. You're right, and I'm dumb. Let's see, it should be right arm... Fracture... Uh... Not a concussion. Rib fractures. Discharge... Um, follow-up... I... Orthopedics? Because he busted up his leg? Or his arm? Or something? Prescriptions, analgesics for the swelling... Uh... Do, 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 do. No. Special services? I don't know. Home healthcare? In case he needs somebody to open his jars of applesauce? 
aftercare for chest pain, I think it's for heart attacks. A face diagnosis. Hmm. He doesn't have back pain, doesn't have alcohol abuse, but he might in the future. Uh, wound care. Urinary tract, pneumonia, leg contusion, nausea. Nope. Fracture care, general. I like it. Diagnosis, murder. Diagnosis, haircut not needed. Call the police because he didn't wear his seatbelt. That'll work. That's all I need. I'm just gonna make the police live at the hospital, given how often I call them for frivolous things. I didn't mean to be the Illa. I wanted to be the Killa, but... Oh well. I forgot child services. I don't think he has kids yet. He's 18. Probably doesn't. Does it look like Seth Rogen? You're kind of right. He kind of does. Surprisingly enough. God damn this game. Is he happy? No. I knew it. I knew she was gone. Sorry, Seth. Deep down, I just knew. I loved her so much. I fixed you, though. Everyone did. I just don't know what to do next, you know? You might want to clear your, uh, care for your I'm wound frozen. a bit. You did a great job fixing me up. Oh, thanks. You can marry me. I'm single. Damn it, I wish you did it. You should have just let me die. I, that would have been way easier. You should have just let me die. Well, you could have told me that before, you know? I would have gotten yelled at for letting him die. Uh, who's next? This is one we haven't seen tonight. Is she 15? Oh, no, she, she's not. She got into my cabin and she, she must have taken some old pills that I had. Prescription pills. I couldn't do it. It's okay, sweetie. She ate all the Flintstone I vitamins. I not tell you what they were. I threw out the bottle a long time ago. Just please, come on. I'm sure that baby's fine. You're just freaking her out. I can't get in trouble for this, right? Or this, I mean, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> That's what you think, lady. I'm taking your kid away. <gasps> oh, kid's fine. <gasps> Call the popo. -po. I'm sure the pills weren't too bad. Um, maybe just sinus medication. Hmm. Sinus medication. I'm gonna stick this into your nose. Oh God. It's terrifying. <laughs> normal. That's a normal little nose. Oops. Not your shoulder. I don't care about that. Oh, you know, kids, you, they'll just put anything in their mouths. Urgh. High five. You know, Doc, I, oh my I bet God. it was just some expired medication. Um, Does it have skin made of sandpaper? That's terrifying. Slight hepatic tenderness. Hmm. Well, that's not good. The no nipple syndrome. I should have called an ambulance, but I thought I thought maybe I could just get her here faster. Nope. Ah. Someone needs braces. Brenna's in good hands. Okay. Airways unobstructed. Oxygen time. Oh, she looks so happy. She's like crying. Tears of goo. 
It's like icing. <laughs> She's not in good hands if I'm treating her. No, Lisa doesn't need braces. Lisa's dead. Where have you been? Um, what haven't I used? I haven't used a stethoscope yet. Because it is damn useful. No. Oh, she's normal. Just ate a bunch of vitamins and now she's going to grow up and be a weightlifter. Uh, if she ate stuff, probably a good idea to blood test. It's like a submarine diving. She's an X-Man. Let's see, normal electrolytes, no drug abuse, Tylenol present. So, she ate a bunch of Tylenol. Quite literally, that's... That's all it is. Big... Freaking deal. Just stick an IV in her and then stick some EDTA in the IV meds, and she'll be fine. Ooh. Um. Oh wait, we have to make the kid barf, don't we? Oh, did I take a urine test yet? I didn't. I should. Positive for Tylenol. So if somebody drinks that, does that make their headache go away? Hmm. Stick finger in the throat. I'm good, thanks. Does Tylenol show up on an X-ray? I would imagine probably doesn't. I... Is that a little baby? What is that? Negative for radio-opaque materials. Well, that's... good. She's not eating deuterium or tritium or anything. Hmm. What if you give her more Tylenol? Does that make it better? Here. Here's more Tylenol. Oh, or must go miss one? It's an antidote for acetaminophen overdose? Okay. Now, finally, my son is polonium negative. Your daughter, whatever it is. My androgynous child. Uh, NG tube. Because we gotta put some charcoal into this. How do you. Oh, there's the end. Nose. Gel. I don't even know how this works. Oops, sorry. Got some coal in your eye. Bloop. I honestly don't know what to do with the charcoal. I'm really not sure what to do with it. I found tiny Elvis in her belly. How do you put the charcoal in the tube? There's no obvious way to do that. Alright, I'm calling it. 168 points. I don't think I'm going to get any more. I did an x-ray. And I don't have any way to check for liver damage outside of making her pee. I already did that. Occupation. Toddler. Sure. Okay. That's my job. Toddler. Way to not address the problem at all. It seemed alright. Uh, let's see. Pediatric floor. Um, let's see. Emergency. Consultation. Pediatrics. Um, not urology, the other one. Uh, internist. Uh, one sec. No, oh, never mind. Have I killed any people yet? Not yet. Um, social services. I'm taking that kid away. That baby's mine. <laughs> I don't think I need to call the police, though. Hmm. 
Intensive care pediatric? It seems a little extreme, but Tylenol kind of eats your liver, so let's not do that. Uh, holding orders? Nah, none of those. Transport? I guess... She doesn't need a gurney, she doesn't need a wheelchair. Monitor with MD, the docs probably have something better to do, so RN it is. Uh, there's an... Unknown... Eating thing in here somewhere. There it is. A seed of an overdose. Discharge. Hmm, probably not yet. We haven't made the kid barf yet. Prescriptions, aftercare. Nope. Calling it there. Tim stole the child. Yeah, she's got a person in her tummy. You never know. Well, it's because the mother doesn't seem very nice. The Asian mother... I didn't call social services this time, because she at least seemed like she cared. This mother's kind of like, Oh, you're not going to arrest me, right? My kid's kind of dying, but just don't send me to jail. I think I did do social services. No, I don't need it for discharge. Because I'm not discharging the kid. I'm keeping the kid in the hospital. Did I check for Ray syndrome? I didn't, but Ray syndrome is for aspirin, I think. And it only said it found Tylenol metabolites. So acetaminophen it is. What did the mom do? She was being a jerk. Hey man, don't arrest me because my kid ate all these pills, alright? And the mom is totally shaking that kid. I don't know how many points that is because my name is way too long. Oh god. That's what you get. Freak. Loser. Now they're gonna take away my daughter. You Good. Happy? You're just doing this because we're poor and you think we can't fight back. Yep. You better watch your back, dog. This isn't the last you'll hear from me. I hate poor people. You've made it to second year. Excellent. Yeah. Not all of the first years were as successful as you were, but that was to be expected. <laughs> you should be very proud of yourself. Keep up the good work. I hope she shows up in the sequel. The patient will live, but just barely by these numbers. The Drake case. Who's this? Yes, I heard the mother and daughter were quite the comedy team. Oh, the pregnant kid. Let's go over it. I'm glad to see you checked rhythm. In a case like this, it's crucial. I think that I was found successful. this patient's BP particularly telling. You did too. Good work. If you had run a complete blood count, the result count. would have indicated elevated white blood count. They would have done what? An infection. Sharp I'm sorry, eyes, what? doctor. This patient's weak state demanded the introduction of intravenous fluids. Are those words? Good. You injected antibiotics to help the patient's immune system battle the infection. Communication is key, Oops. doctor. You can't expect the hospital staff to read your mind. Record the patient's hospital orders for admittance and recommended treatment. Dude, I have no idea. How am I supposed to know? Appendicitis. A good call, especially when the mother was doing her best to throw you off track. You saved this patient's life, doctor. Well done. I gloved her. I forgot to hit one of the buttons on the machine. I know we oh, don't want to aggravate a patient's condition, but don't poke the patient and locating in the eye. pain are vital to a proper diagnosis. I know we don't want to aggravate a patient's condition, said that. but confirming and locating pain are vital to a proper diagnosis. I, a yes. very nasty break. Often with head and neck trauma, there may be other <laughs> subtle God, internal injuries. Crucial. You were correct in ordering this. God, this game. A very nasty break. X-rays are costly, doctor, and in this case, not required. Break. Before you treat the wound, it's Oops. important to cleanse the area. Well done. Oh, I mean, yes. Head and neck trauma, you don't take chances. X-rays are a must. But you said X-rays are expensive. Eyes, doctor. This patient's weak station state demanded the we introduction what? of intravenous fluids. Good. You injected antibiotic antics to help the patient's <laughs> immune system battle the infection. breaking down. Way to identify the break and use the splint to immobilize it. Looks like your sewing skills came in handy sewing in this case, didn't they, doctor? It's nice to see you didn't forget the basics. You needed to bandage the wound, and you did. You correctly applied topical medication. Into his you eye. You got a few items, but on the whole, your discharge orders were good. You signed the patient into the hospital, but failed to list a comprehensive plan for hospital care. Sorry. Be more careful next time. Often our How intuition can mislead us. 
You made the wrong diagnosis for this patient. No, I didn't. And it cost a life. No, I didn't. Wait, wait, it cost a life? Did you just say this cost a life? I did the exact freaking thing. You God, how is he dead? How did he die? How? Please, explain that. He's not dead. He got up and said, I'm fine. Thanks, Doc. But no. No, he's... Oh, could have cost a life. <laughs> I guess that's okay. <sighs> what Was I supposed to write... <laughs> find the one that said diagnosis? Right humerus fracture. Rib fractures. Right humerus fracture. <laughs> oh, well. You did a damn good job killing that patient back you there. You did what you had to do to save the patient, but just barely. I didn't sponge his eye. Oh, I did sponge his eye. I forgot to magnify his chest or glove his head. I'll know for next time. Unknown ingestion. It's sad how many cases like this we receive. It truly is. Man, the kid's hungry. Signs of wheezing, what the hell? breathing, or rapid breaths. What happened attention. to this baby? Helped the patient by administering oxygen via mass. The baby's it's exploding. Right Sharp eyes, doctor. <laughs> this patient's weak state demanded the introduction of intravenous fluids. Correct. The nasogastric tube was required I'm for so this patient. Lost. You forgot a vital treatment. The NG tube should have been inserted for this patient. I did. It went you in the nose. You completed a majority of the required hospital orders for this patient. <laughs> I totally put the NG tube in. You conducted your examination, assisted the patient, and <clears throat> came to the right conclusion. I'm so lost. You saved this patient's life, doctor. Well done. Missing procedures. It didn't even say I didn't do the NG tube. Because the NG tube is right there. You're just making up stuff. There's no one here. Oh, I've s oh. He's back. Oh, great. Your good buddy Monty. Says he has a headache, double vision, and asks if I would mind finding a portable TV for him to watch while he's in the exam room. I'm gonna send him. Oh, and he requested the cops. <laughs> I think my skull is dying. Can it do that? <laughs> I think my skull is dying. <laughs> Mine too, Monty. Mine too. The good old EKG. My heart's a flutter. I got 60 points just for that. There's like obviously nothing to do. Uh oh. That look. It's the big C, isn't it? Can't. Oops. Never gonna know what the big C is. <laughs> well, I gloved his head. Do you have brain damage? Oops, kind of missed your eye, but... You're so gentle. I could fall asleep. Thanks. If I do, can I stay the night? <laughs> it's like a constant throbbing behind my eyeballs. Does that mean... In the back of my head, too. Nope, that's a normal brain. Wow. You've really taken your medicine up a notch, huh? Oh, I'll make you take some medicine, Monty. There. You've improved since my last visit. I'm gonna overdose you on Tylenol now. Urgh. Hmm. Can I get a jello cup? No lime this time, okay? Wanna know what else is red? Like your jello? Your blood! Get a good look. Ah! It's something serious, I know it. Oh man, he totally broke his thumb there. <laughs> Can I go now? I have 151 points. I'm done. Go away, Monty. Hospital orders. Get lost. Mm, emergency console. Nope. I don't think he gets any emergency anything. Transport, nope. Diagnosis, I don't know. Headache? Is headache an option? Is he Latino? I guess. 
you have a gunshot wound I didn't notice? Uh, not too thick. Headache. Tension headache. Like, the most mild headaches on the list. It's probably not a skull fracture. Has bonitis. Hmm. What if I just send him to surgery? What, what then? What if I just say, hey, I'm sorry, you're dying. Have fun. Here, here's an analgesic. Uh, <laughs> police. Nah. As much as I want to do police, I don't think that's the right thing. He's dying of abusive fakeism. Yeah, he might have the big C. Why am I not doing psych? Because I think you're just supposed to play with him. Not honestly think he's nuts. He's just lonely. I actually did defib him. I just sort of killed him the first time. Because surgery is going to be correct. Okay, fine. I was afraid if I put psych and surgery for two joke answers, then he would really get a bunch of points taken off. Figured if I hedge my bets by picking just one or the other, it might be okay. I forgot to save his skull. I defibbed him the first time. I he probably comes back. I can't imagine him being dead the whole time. Oh, I should have done home health care so we'd have someone to talk to. Wait, is he stealing from the... Oh! You scared me. I'm going to kill you. Um, I was just... I would... Have I mentioned what a great job you've just done? I should have called um, the cops. You're going to be chief staff before you know it. Um, okay. See ya. I gotta run. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun in surgery, jerk. My little darlings. Pick huh? up the phone. Can't it's hear Mama. You. Oh. Pick it up, darlings. What are you doing over there? I live alone. I do I hear fighting? Stop that. Now you stop that. When I get home. I saw hey. everything. <laughs> okay, call you later, Dad. One minute he was playing with his friends, and the next he's on the ground. And he's swollen within an hour. Oh, wait, I mean, is it this kid? I can't be expected to keep my eyes on him every minute. Boys will be boys, you know. What, what concerns us? Chris, would you like to play with your teddy bear? Is this the kid that we all thought was really abused, but wasn't? What concerns us, Doctor? Is that Chris is adopted. We know zero about his birth parents' medical history. Oh, wait, that's with a different what's going kid. on with him? That's just starting to scare us. You you can you can go now. It's not so much that he falls a lot, it's that he bruises so easily. It's that we push him a lot. <gasps> Twenty-four points. Hmm. <laughs> Adopted diagnosis unloved. Chris was literally left on a hospital doorstep when he was a newborn. Let me glove your knee. We were lucky enough to adopt mm. him. Indicates underlying injury. Can I magnifying glass that? Please tell me they look worse than they really are. They look like peaches. I bet you'd make a terrific parent. Do oh. you have kids? Um, well, it depends. I thought that 15-year-old wasn't. Indicates anemia or poor blood flow to the conjunctiva and Even mucous membranes. Even when you membranes. grab him okay. by the arm, he bruises. Not that I grab him by the arm often. I grab him by the anything. knee. 
Oh God. That's. He's smiling. Is he, he must be doing something right. I don't. He doesn't do anything. This is the album that Tommy was written about. Or this is the kid that Tommy was written about. You're gonna grow up and be a pinball wizard, kid. <laughs> but what is this? I wish I knew. He had a staple. It is on. Might explain a lot. I yeah, I guess I might as well X-ray his legs. The machine doesn't hurt, Chris. It just takes a picture. It okay? gives you cancer. No fractures. Why is there so much space in his knee? I'm the doctor. Normal fluids. Hmm. Lots of We're fluid kind of in between doctors at the moment. What does that mean? I don't know. Check that arm. Okay. Oh god. I guess I can't. Weird. Hmm. Chris is a real bundle of joy. He won't be anymore! I'm gonna suck all the joy out of him. Low hematic crit, prolonged clotting time. Reduced blood factor clotting, er, blood factor 8. So he's got hemophilia. Hmm. Where's the cold compress? There it is. Feel better, don't you, son? Got some cold vegetables for you. Feel better, <clears throat> don't you, son? If I do it again, does he keep feeling better? Make him pee. I don't think that'll help, but I'll try. Nope. Urine tests for pregnancy or drugs should be obtained only when indicated. He is not pregnant. Or probably on drugs. <laughs> probably. What if I just splint both of his legs? There. That seems to soothe his pain. Does it? It's not even near where the... What if I do it again? That seems to soothe his pain. Okay, sick. Full body cast. <laughs> what if I save? Oops. I want to see what happens. Can I put a splint on everything? <laughs> yes. Splint. <laughs> Neck brace. <laughs> Why not? I have 144 points. You wouldn't be terribly offended if I sought out a second opinion. It's just. Oops. Well, I don't agree with your diagnosis. My gut, my mother's intuition tells me so. He's adopted. You're not his mother. You have no intuition. Have a nice day, Doctor. Thanks. You too. Wait, I need to fix your son. Oh god, which is the new one? Uh. Uh. I think it's that one. It's not so much that he falls a lot. It's that he bruises so easily. I broke him. Alright, I'm gonna stop touching him. It's time to wrap this up. I have 156 points. Where did his splint go? I took the two off. Occupation, preschooler. Must be a hard job. Disposition. Eh, none of them, really. No coasters tonight, because I wanted to pretend to be a doctor so I can learn how to fix all the people I kill in my theme parks. Um, doesn't need an emergency, doesn't need a holding. Transport, he's fine. Diagnosis, hemophilia. Drowning, no. Swollen joints, fall, <laughs> hemophilia. Follow up with pediatrics. 
Um, mm, probably an analgesic. Hematologist, because he's got hemophilia. Nope. Social worker? Eh. I don't feel like the kid's abused. I don't... I feel like the mom doesn't abuse the kid. Uh, aftercare. Did they have one for hemophilia? Mm, leg contusion. Yeah, close enough. Save, then social worker. I remember there is one that was a social worker. Um, it was a kid that was all bruised up. And, um... Apparently the kid gets bruised really easily. And if you say the kid is, um, abused... The father yells at you, like, the entire time he's pretty much saying, No! The kid is fine! You're fine, kid, aren't you, right? You just fell! Or something. But... I said... He was abused, but that is not the right answer. Oh, well. My name's still going. I don't think that is this kid, because that kid had a father that I remember. Maybe he was abused, I don't know. What's the score on that? Oh, he disappeared. Hemophilia? Hemophilia. If you're British. I can't believe it. I picked the wrong kid. You know what always frightened us in considering adoption? This lack of control over what came before the child was even born. Yeah, like, you, you can control your genes. Stories. But the minute my husband and I laid our eyes on Chris, we knew that nothing... We knew he was the hemophiliac for us. Nothing from his past would stop us from laying down our lives for him. But hemophilia, I don't know. Hemophilia? <laughs> Minor bump in the road. Or like, hema... Dummia. Thanks for taking such good care of our son, Doctor. You can stop staring. Thanks. Alright, guys, one more case, and I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna go to bed. One more. Manfred Fernandez, near drowning victim. He couldn't find his baseball. Five minutes I left him alone. Oops. Five minutes I went upstairs to find the baseball. You should have taken money with you. He was eating a cereal, Roberto. He, wait, he was drowning in the cereal when he, he went to get his baseball? Facing down, I pulled him out and then I saw his baseball was at the bottom of the pool. He wanted his baseball. She's really short. He's, he's a only grandchild. We, we raised him since he was two years old. Don't let him die. I want to be in the room with Manny. No, no, it, it won't be good for you. I, I go. Please. Hmm. America's pastime, or America's serial killer on the loose. My wife can be too emotional at times. Hey, you know, I, it's just I gotta get to the machine back so there, man. The boy. <gasps> we wrapped him in blankets all the way here. Hypothermia. Pulse oxygen is low. That's the title music. Kid looks kind of blue, like the album, but not good. Oxygen administered. Use of oxygen when not needed is wasteful. Excuse me, what? This kid is drowning. How is that wasteful? Hmm. He drowned his nipples off. Cold skin. Hmm. Not surprising. Is it cold under a microscope? Blue skin and lips. I looked at his chest and I saw his lips. Let's use the damn useful stethoscope. Yeah, there's not a lot of oxygen left to go along or to go around. Let's see, is he brain damaged? Or 
Brain dead? You gotta open your eyes, kid. I can't tell like this. Pupils reactive to light, so that's a no. Let's x ray his chest. Eh, there's water in there. X ray his head. Looks like a head to me. Except that was unneeded, apparently. Oh well, whatever. Cervical collar, anyway. My cervical collar is all bruised, though. I got 100% already. Or not percent, but 100 points. So wait, I can't give him oxygen, so... If I can't give him oxygen, how do I bring up the pulse ox? I... Hmm. Oh, alert, I guess. Endotracheal tube time. Uh, there you go. Now your lips won't chap. I don't know what this... Oh, Leonard's scope. I don't need that. No, put it back in. What? No, in. In the mouth. In the mouth. In the mouth. There. No, pulse ox. Okay, he's fine. Oxygen injection. Throw the switch and drain the liquid. Alright, that's blood gas now. Oh, that's not blood gas, that's just normal blood. I meant blood gas. He's not dead. Low oxygen, high carbon dioxide. Um. Oh, wait, he probably needs an ID. There you go. Drain the lungs. I'll get there. Let me just throw some IV meds in. Do, 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 do. Apply one of the back pain hot presses. Hmm. Hey, I just gave him dopamine. That's not what I thought would be in there. I don't need to defib him. He's alive, just not super happy. Love his lung? Hmm. I don't know, I don't... I'll save, just to be safe. I don't think I have to poke him, though. Because it's not... No, no, you're not gonna poke his lung. The chest tube is to get liquid out of his chest. You don't, you don't take the tube and shove it in his lungs. That's why it's a chest tube. Trust me on this. You, you don't, you don't do that to lungs. Why is he wearing a business suit? That's because he's, or uh, that's his dad. I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Give him a blanket. It'd be cooler if you did that to lungs. Rib separator. Hmm. Well, his thing is blinking alert. That means my job is done. Just send him to intensive care. I can't do anything. He's stable. Ignore the fact that's blinking red alert. Plot twist. I'm the dad. Take out the lungs and let them... <laughs> Take out the lungs and let them dry. Um, where's intensive care? I always forget if intensive care is like a little header or medical intensive care. Um, wait, yeah. Um, or a little thing. Oh, wait, intensive care general, medical intensive care. What's the difference? Hmm. I'll just say general, because I don't know what medical means in this. Um, what's this say? Does it say radiology? Hmm. Pediatric. Sounds about right. Um. 
But then there's intensive care pediatrics. I guess I wanted to go to intensive care and not normal pediatrics. Transport him with a gurney, because he's kind of not alive. Well, sort of is, but not too well. And you're drowning with hypothermia. Um, let's see, follow up. No, not yet. Um, call him social worker? I don't know. I don't know if I should call social services on that. <laughs> Transport, roll him down the highway. I don't know if I should call social... Might as well... Alright. Oops, not urology. Um... Oh, I never did anything for pulmonol. There it is. Yeah, because if he's drowning, they probably should. Hey man, look. You don't let your kid, your only grandson, die from a baseball, okay? And it's social services, not necessarily taking the kid away. Probably. <laughs> Transport magic school bus. He died from milk. Oh, did I forget to hit the pediatrics button? I thought I did. I can never be sure anymore. Uh, after this scenario, I'll check out the soundtrack and see if I can upload it. You know what I should have done if I were a terrible money-grubbing jerk? I could have run a commercial every single time the money, or not the money, the uh, name ticked across the screen, and then I would have a whopping $2. So much, so much fat stacks, so many fat stacks, in fact. What's the correct grammar for fat stacks? Is it plural? Is it assumed plural? Gotta pay my way through med school. Yes, with a Z. Fat stacks. There's no S involved at all. Did I win? Hi, we're taking your son. I am just one man, not a rich man. In this country, I can do nothing to protect my grandson from people like you. Why? But in the end... No, I'll protect him. You will have to answer to him. You mean the guy upstairs? And he knows no borders. Oops. <sighs> You've created a lot of extra work for me, Doctor. Well, I got you a new kid. Oh well. Headache and double vision this time? Monty's getting more and more creative. I'm glad to see you checked rhythm. In a case like this, it's crucial. You recorded what was necessary to ensure proper... I forgot to tell him care. how to treat his headache. Oops. As you know, headaches can be minor or preface something major, and double vision shouldn't be ignored. I'm glad you ruled this as a case of a simple headache. <laughs> it shouldn't be ignored. Doctor. Good job. The level of care it. you afforded this patient exceeded my expectations. The complete blood count numbers helped to verify this patient's infection. Good job. This patient required blood labs, and the data should have warned you of possible anemia, malnutrition, and amphetamines. What? A bruising like this, coupled with tenderness, it's always <laughs> I didn't get that at all. Good call. With bruising like this, coupled with tenderness, it's always wise to take x-rays. Good call. Good call. You correctly applied the cold compress to address the swelling. You Good correctly call. applied the cold compress to address the swelling. That's damn important. Way to identify the break and use the splint to immobilize it. Way to identify <laughs> the break and use the splint to immobilize it. You forgot a staple of the ER doctor, IV fluids. Oops. This patient's weak state demanded the introduction of intravenous oh, fluids. Clear and thought out, doctor. Your discharge orders included every angle. Except this one. Your diagnosis was incorrect. Uh, oh, learn from piss it. off. God damn it. <laughs> Every time. What am I not doing? That's the third time this happened.
Oh, this game. You did what you had to do to save the patient, but just barely. Oops, forgot to IV. Near drowning and a little boy, too. <sighs> if I never saw another pediatric emergency, I wouldn't be disappointed. Talk about through the roof. <laughs> you put the EKG to good use. You don't seem so depressed instance. anymore. We offer the portable x-ray machine to provide emergency imaging. It's not a toy. This kid's and head looks like a light bulb. Like this. The endotracheal oh tube protocol was required, and you followed through like a veteran. You need braces. Sharp eyes, doctor. This patient's weak state demanded the introduction of intravenous fluids. To properly address and address treat the patient's pain, <laughs> I see you opted for the med syringe. Good choice. The treatment indicated was not necessary. What treatment was that? There are too many items missing from this sheet of hospital orders, doctor. I looked at his tongue. You made the correct diagnosis for this patient. <laughs> A baseball-induced murder. Oh, okay. Doctor's lounge. Oh, start shift. Well, it's 1.17 a.m., and I think that means it's pretty much time to call it a day. If I have to move on to disc two. I need to access the other CD-ROM. Who's that? Wait, what? No, stop. Oops, maybe I need to save. Oh, well. It's like a real clipboard. I have disc two floating around somewhere. Uh, somebody wanted me to see... Oops. If I could extract the music from this. So, I'll check. Let's see, where is the music? Ignore my icons, they're kind of everywhere. Um... Mm, QuickTime Installer. Files. Oh god, I have no idea what any of these are. Oh, videos! Sick! It's spelled with a Z. Smart.mov. Is that where she says smart move? No. It isn't anything. Smart mov. What do any of these do? Uh... Yes? Let me guess. You just finished your first shift, right? Oh, that's the pretzel lady. MCG04 Coke. Don't give her any more Tylenol. Good. Just wait a little while. Call back if it doesn't go down. What? Yeah. The woman in room one? Hmm. I sort of wanted just to hear the woman yell at me. Time out. Time out demo dot... Wait, what? Um. Yes? What the hell is this? What am I downloading? Maybe it's a good game. Legacy Interactive. A leading publisher of family fun and real life games. Developed by eBrainy Games. Not .com. TM. Visit us and get a free game! Ooh, it's extracting so many BMPs. Hmm. Well, while that extracts, I want to see if I could find the damn useful clip in here somewhere. In turf. No. Environ. I was already there. Okay, oh my god. Case 1 to 57. Good, bad. Is this the Chihuahua? Look, look, it feels like so much happened. 
I got the way in my chest. Right in the middle. What? Look. It's pain. Ow! It, it moves, doesn't it? It's oh, it's the, the cocaine lady. Hmm. Death. Who's this? Legacy Memorial, that's right. Is this Mrs. Bryant? Is she there? Yeah, thanks. Poor kid. When you see someone cut down in the prime of life, senselessly. Who's this? It makes you hate your job. But telling the family. That's the worst. Well, that's why you're here to do it for Never me. Never tell them on the phone, though. Always in person. Do, do. Ms. Bryant? This is Gabriel Gomez. I'm a nurse down at Legacy. Your uh, son's been in an accident. We need you to come down. By the way, he's dead. Yes. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Well, I can't find the music. How do you open an X32 file? Also, what is Timeout Games? Oh, I have to restart the computer? Do I? Uh, check where it installed. I'll check after this restarts. What a pain. I don't really care that much. Oh man, new horse ebooks. It's probably super loud. Oh god, what? The hell did I download? have played zero times. Hmm. Do I want to waste one of them now? Oh. There. Wait, I, it said I played it one time. Because I booted it and it said I didn't have enough colors? Jerk. Darts. No way. Minor. Eight away. Spelling. One minute words. It takes a few. I just never turn the computer off now. Current player. I guess I'm player one because I can't change it. The Rock of Ages refers to a real rock, yeah, real rock formation. I, no. Oops. True. Now what? Do I lose? A blintz is a sudden attack from an enemy. No. Wow, this is not very fun. The symbol of Taurus is a ram. I don't think so. Maybe it is. Oops, it was a bull. I figured. I was just testing you. <laughs> the Battle of Bunker Hill took place in the Civil War. I don't even want to answer anything, no. Shh, I'm actually smart. Don't tell anyone. Sure. Why not? Benedict Arnold was an American hero at the Battle of Saratoga. <laughs> I'm sorry, Arnold. Uh, that's true. I was there. This is not very fun. <laughs> really? At all? Sure. Yeah. Up on my Bible facts. Sure. What's eight away? Is this fun? No. <laughs> I 
could already tell you it isn't. I won. Four orbs. This looks like a game. Well, I'm sure it isn't. Get ready. Oh, this is almost sort of fun. Gotta get all the oops. <laughs> we gotta get all the orbs in the circle without them touching. Wow, video games. It's like a real game. Wow. This is almost not awful. Oh. Yay. It's fat graphics. That one's strangely tolerable. Good job, timeout games. Darts. Do I throw darts at your face? Oh, they just disappear. Triangles. Probably should read the rules. I'd rather not. Can't tell if I'm winning or not. It's sort of hard to tell. Not very forthcoming with what's happening. Did I win? No. I didn't. Timeout games are not very good. It's like entire games made of Microsoft Word clip art. It takes a thief. Does it? I don't know what's happening. It's just sort of going. I have 3% of the board, maybe? Oh, I'm drawing arrows. Oh well. <laughs> One minute words! Yeah, these are the games you're forced to play in a timeout. Let's see, what's a word? Uh... Hmm. Dim. Wait, how do you... Oh, God. Whip. Yeah, I... Okay, I meant that. Bath. Ape. Apen. Tie. Uh... Gall. Yep, yeah, sure. Lod. Pine. Gip, that's not a word. Sit. Eight. Fate. Fay. Um. Sifua. You. Ya. Ripney. These are all words. Hmm. Has it been a minute yet? This is the longest minute I've ever, ever experienced. Pine. Piney. E. I'm not even trying to spell these, to be honest. It just seems to happen. Pine of. Bet. Sure. Pig. Peg, all right. These are all words. Peas. I 
I, I don't know. I want to spell penal, but I couldn't. Signal. Light up all the letters. Use the ones on the lower right. Hmm, I can't move them. Fummy. You. Gum. Uh. Pend. Ado. Bidgach. Ledhi. No. Af me. Af me for playing these dad games. Um. Fi? Ye? I? Tio? Tia? Yov? HIV is not a word. It go. Pity. That's what I meant to spell, of course. Who? Yeah. Great. Did it in a minute. Balloon pop. That sounds easy. Yay. I'm so excited. much thought involved in this game. You can't just make progress by randomly clicking, you know? That would be awful if you could. Oh, I lost. <laughs> no way, I already played. Minor! Four twenty pop it. Oh god, it's an arrow key game. It's like Minecraft is always dreamed it could be. Great. Is it Spelunky? Oh. I just shot that bear. Blow it up and make more dirt. Well, I can't get in there now. Oh wait, there's evil miners. Do I have to shoot them? Oh god. Wind bust! <laughs> what? I have 12 shots. I should turn the volume down a little. Wind bust. <laughs> what is he saying? What is this? Wedge bus? Sure. Why not? I love this walking down animation. Look at that. Look how great that looks. Look at this. Look at this. It's garbage. What the hell? Do I have to blow the tanks up? Best game of the package, bar none. Win. Oh god, it shoots Bye. backwards! Win. It is a game. Win. 
Bah! Jesus. Did it. Kamikaze Miner. Can I do anything with this? I can pick it up. Minecart, yes. <laughs> but now I can't get the gold. Am I not supposed to blow the tanks up? <sighs> I guess not. Oh, evil trains. Holy crap! Good lord, there's robots? I'm gonna be legitimately sad when I'm not able to play this anymore. Where else am I gonna find a copy of this? This game does have everything. Oh, no, no trains, no. There. <laughs> this needs to be a Minecraft mod. How do you blow all these up? Oh, the TNT barrels are items. can break those. This is the worst. Time out games. I just murdered that man. make people noise. Wait! <laughs> Bash! <laughs> Tanks. Did these rocks fall down? No, nope, those are snakes. Uh, snakes. Oh, God. This is almost okay, and it's... Well, it's all in a very bizarre way. I didn't even know this existed. Wind bashed. Hmm. Uh, bears. A ghost? Ooh, it is spelunky. Wind bashed. There's a lot of levels. time to play through all of this. Let's just check out Spelling Bee. Honey. Is NSP a word? Ash. M. That doesn't count. Nash. It's in Crosby Stills and 
sands. That's a word. <laughs> Meth. Meth is not a word. Fat. Word already used. Oh, you got me. Tro. Throne. Water. Metro. Lean. Mm. Mm. Oh, I can't spell piss. Uh, hip. Hips. Hips. Reason. Ship. There. Oh, there's more words? That's no fun. Seaman <laughs> is not gonna count, I'm afraid. I don't think ass will count either. No, no ass counts. <laughs> Ho also counts. Shoe. Shown. Already spelled throne. Sure, man? Nope. Sure counts. This whore work? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Whore, man? No. Uh, you, you can't spell penis in this. Whores? Yeah. <laughs> uh, mad whore you can't spell. Does not work backwards. Fate. Fates. Phone? Yeah. Um. Hip? I already spelled that. Um, Nihon? No. I've had enough. Good God. Have I had enough? Kill it. <sighs> Alright, that's enough of that. I already looked for the soundtrack. I can't find it. It's buried away in some sort of proprietary file. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. Oh, I'll look for the music. Fine, fine. I'll look for the music, the install folder, really quickly. That was only a demo. Um, like date. Program code blue. Extras? Nope. Not in here. Nope. These I've already seen. These are all movies which don't work. Okay. Oh, gotta go. Bye bye. Yes, yeah, not the same. Oh well. They're not really that much shorter, to be fair. They're still like five hours. Yeah, Code Blue is not in here. I'm sorry to say. So I'm gonna go to bed, I think. Thank you guys for watching. Consider following the stream if you want, or my dumb Twitter account where I talk about the stream and stuff which is monotone Tim like me and everything else I do. So I'm gonna head off. Thanks for watching. Here's a quick commercial and stuff, and I will see you next stream whenever that is. Ooh, commercials. <laughs>